asking the public to help find the driver who killed an innocent woman in a deadly street takeover and injured several others. The LAPD says it has found new videos showing several people who were injured in that deadly street takeover on Christmas night, but no one has come forward to say they were hurt or to identify the driver. Eyewitness News reporter Christian Cordero has the new details and new video. Candles that line a corner on Florence and Crenshaw and Hyde Park show where a woman was killed Sunday night. The tire marks in the road show how. How many more communities are going to be disruptive and how many more lives are going to be lost? That's the problem that we as a community have to deal with. Eliza Oaxaca died here during a street takeover. The LAPD has released a series of videos pulled from social media showing the six to seven other people injured and they're asking for help. We don't know who any of them are. Like we don't have uh, um, any idea of these other injuries. So um, like I said, we're hoping that folks are going to come forward with that. Earl Ofari Hutchinson told us he saw the street takeover just as it was ending Sunday night and that he's seen too many of them on so many nights. He's calling on the community and the city to do more. You know, we've called for a special task force, forces that are roving in the community, knowing where these hot spots are, being there. There already is a street takeover task force. Yeah, yeah, but they're not effective, and that's the problem. They're not, not? Co not coordinated, and they're not systematic. Just having the task force is not enough. In other words, you have to be there. You have to anticipate. The LAPD Street Racing Task Force has recovered the black Camaro that lost control and crashed Sunday night, but so far officials have not found or arrested the driver behind it. Their hope is by releasing the video, victims or people with information will come forward even anonymously. This culture is, that's kind of what they do. It's kind of like, I guess, a code you say they go by where uh, somebody will get beaten nearly to death and they don't come forward to be a victim because it's just part of the whole how it goes. A GoFundMe page for Eliza Oaxaca has so far raised more than $23,000. On it, her brother says she loved big and was the rock of their family. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.